deserves a debate on the U.S. Senate floor. I mean, that's what America is about, and it's enough. Regardless of what comes to the floor, it's something that deserves to pass that that first means test of culture. It's a very controversial issue. We welcome the debate. Um, we, we think it's something that will educate America. I hope it's a five-day. This is the kind of debate we'd love to have the filibuster back. You know, a 22-day filibuster on this issue. And they have to stay up all night and all day, and, and the press has to cover it. Because we think the more the public learns about this, the more that they understand about it, the more that the pressure comes that they'll, that they'll be, uh, that uh, forces them to vote the, the right way. When you were a guest on Democratic Talk Radio with us uh, last month, uh, we discussed all this at length, and you said that if Senator Specter does not support the EFCA, that the AFL-CIO is, in your guess, maybe not endorsing him this year. Well, I think if, if for the, and it all depends on what type of reason he makes on that in a lot of ways. This labor movement is really, really struggling with a lot of changes, and, and it's even having a rough time getting out of the old room into the new room, like the rest of society is. And, and I think that what happens finally here is that our inspector, um, is, it's, it's, it's a tough test. I know that the steel workers over the years, uh, when he wasn't right on the trade issue, there was nothing else that makes it more important to them to keep in those jobs here in Western PA, and it was a big test for them. And so we're multiple groups, but the fact of the matter is each one of these unions were different. The building and construction un unions, this may not be the number one issue in their agenda, where to many manufacturing unions and public employee unions and transportation unions, and of course our growing healthcare industry, it's a big, big issue, I have to tell you. And, uh, and so, you know, we, we weigh that on the whole general. We look at things not on a single issue, we look at things where we're at labor, labor intensive. If universal health care came up next week and our inspector voted for it, if the following week we had a strong trade bill and he voted for it and he did, he brought his record up to 85% or, or 90% 90 like Casey and, and, and Ted Kennedy and somebody says, oh, what are you going to do? Here it is, getting election time, he gave you 10 votes between now and then. I got to tell you, I got a rough time saying to this labor movement, don't vote for him because he didn't give us a free choice. Now. Let's be honest about it. So it's a multiple of issue. We look at it from a large perspective and because we represent the whole quality of life of workers. I mean, organizing having unions is really, really important to unions, but for people who are looking for a job today, looking for good paying jobs, looking for health care, we need to realize that those are more important to us than anything is the quality of life our people have. So that's where we're at on the issue. What does the new room look like? The what? You said the unions are having a hard time walking into the new room. Just was wondering what the new room well, is. What is it? I mean, it's, it's our whole society lived in a 